if you're a conservative, you just don't stand a chance on social media. Now, it's not because you're on the wrong side of the political aisle or because your arguments are invalid or you voted for the wrong person. And it's definitely not because leftists are smarter than you. It's because the people who create and control these social media outlets are, in fact, on the left. And even though they might claim to be objective and they stay out of the censorship game, that's simply not true. Um, and I want to I want to highlight at least one specific example of that. I had a TikTok account. My main TikTok account, Nate's Wilden, had 560,000 followers at the time it was permanently banned on July 4th. It was permanently banned for community guidelines violations. Now, the way I understand TikTok's community guidelines violations system to work <clears throat> is that if you post a video and someone doesn't like your video, they can report it. Doesn't matter what for. There's several options for violations that you know that they can choose from to report your video. Is if enough people report it, then it gets banned and that's considered a violation. Enough of those violations, then you're restricted for posting for a day or for a week. And then if you get more violations, then they just permanently ban your account. None of my videos on TikTok violated community policy community guidelines. They just didn't. Now, most of them were reported for harassment and bullying. And, a lot, and some of them reported for hate speech, okay? None of them, all of my videos were completely innocuous unless, of course, you chose to take offense to it, which in this case, you know, these days, leftists and people who are woke will choose to take offense at pretty much anything they disagree with. And instead of scrolling down and moving on or perhaps blocking me or just simply choosing to ignore it, they report it, Okay. They report the video. TikTok makes it very easy for them, and they make it very easy for them in their mission to silence conservative voices. So the the video, or excuse me, the account that I want to highlight from TikTok is this lovely person right here, Aunt Karen Zero. Aunt Karen, as you can see, has almost a million followers. I mean, her, her follower count has grown by 5,000 just today. Okay. Um... Her entire focus for her account is to harass and intimidate and bully people that she disagrees with. Now, as you can see, if we scroll down through her videos, you can tell kind of by her demeanor that, you know, she's, she's got this attitude, right? This attitude that she is smarter than you and that she is woke and that she knows and you don't. And she's just better than you. Watch her videos, you, you will get that vibe. It's not just me being smug. This, this is her attitude. This is her personality, okay? You can see right here that she did a video about me and about uh, one of my conservative friends who stitched a video about me. I'm going to show you this video. No, you were fired for being racist and sent. <laughs> okay, so my buddy here, Hulk Patriot 489 on TikTok, go give him a follow. Now... He, he has, you know, in case those of you are, are, are unfamiliar with TikTok, he has done what's called a stitch. He stitched a video <clears throat> that Karen did about me, and this is his reaction to her video. Now, she's duetting that video, right, a side-by-side -side of her reaction to his video. His video got removed from TikTok for violating community guidelines. Uh, hello. Hello. Um, try saying you don't have facts to state without actually saying you don't have facts to state. So, let me start. Try using the word racist in every sentence. Oh, and you make sure you have to use it against an officer, uh, because we know they're all white and they all kill black people, of course. Be okay, obviously he's being sarcastic and, and quasi-facetious, but he's not wrong, okay? This is... This is the, the, the game that the left plays, all right? Now, the little caption that Karen has put up here, okay, to me that seems kind of offensive towards Hulk Patriot, right? But her, her content is allowed to stay up. Now, I'm sure she, after duetting this video, probably reported Patriot Hulk's video and got all of her followers to report Patriot Hulk's video, and it was removed. Now, again, her content stays up. But that's what she does. If, if there's a video she doesn't like, she will stitch it, duet it, or share it. Um, 
She'll tear that person apart, attack their character, label the video and the content as racist or insensitive, even when it's not, and then send her followers after that person to bar- bombard their comment section in their videos with threats and insults. Okay, that's, that's the only thing she does. She's, she's not creative. She's not funny. She has no original content on her page. It's all about silencing people that don't agree with you. So I want to, I saved a few of her videos on my profile. Now, <clears throat> she had a beef with this person right here. So this, I want only JS. Okay, only JS is a young TikToker. She's a white female, obviously. She's got like 14 million followers or something ridiculous. She's done very well for herself on TikTok. Okay, now, apparently, she agreed at one point to collaborate with Aunt Karen on some stuff, right? I don't know if Aunt Karen was all, I, I, remember, the, I remember the background. So when only JS was like 16 or something, still in high school, she made some sort of a racial slur or something like that. Um, she was called out on it, and this is her giving a public apology. I want to take this time to take a step back and share my platform with some amazing black creators who are going to tell their story to try and educate others on the trauma that happens when we use this kind of language. So, you say you want to share your platform with black creators. Nice to meet you. I'm Aunt Karen. I like to hold people accountable. Let's see how well you can share your platform with me. Okay, so, so Aunt Karen, if you go through and, and watch some of her videos where she's responding and targeting only J.S., she, she says that she believes that only J.S. is a racist, yet a lot of her videos also complain about only J.S. not wanting to collaborate with her. So why exactly are you wanting to collaborate with a racist as a black woman? That's where your argument completely falls apart. So here's, here's Karen. So as you can see there, Karen believes that she is entitled to work with whoever she wants to work with, whether or not they want to work with her. Okay. Now, again, only J.S. has 14 million followers. She has some clout on TikTok. Aunt Karen Zero wants to piggyback off of that, which, you know, I don't blame her. That's kind of what you do as a successful social media influencer. You collaborate with other successful influencers, then that boosts your that boosts your platform, that boosts your account. But apparently at one point, only JS agreed to do that. But then probably after seeing what Aunt Karen was all about, which is just about labeling white people as racist, probably changed her mind, and understandably so. Now, this, of course, angered Aunt Karen because she believes that she's entitled to do whatever she wants to do, and she's made several videos about only JS being a racist and oppressing black people and not giving black content creators credit for their content, and it's just, it's just absolutely insane, the, the mentality of this woman to believe that she can harass and intimidate and annoy anybody who she disagrees with or anybody who she believes has wronged her. But she gets away with it. She does because TikTok allows it. Here's another example. I am sorry you were offended. Okay, so this person right here, the woman in tears, she did a video kind of poking fun at a group of black men who uh, they created like a little dance dance video it went viral everybody's using it in their tiktok good for them you know they created a, a cool video that everybody's using you know she did a video that you know she she put in she said that the dance was silly or she made fun of it in some way she wasn't being racist she didn't comment on the color of their skin she didn't say anything like that it wasn't insensitive she does what everybody else does on tiktok which is make fun of other users that literally happens every day now aunt karen took it upon herself to create videos and again send her users after this woman to threaten and harass her incessantly to the point where she's obviously now making a video in tears apologizing for it. I think we all need to vibrate higher for the future. All I asked of you was to respect black content creators. So for you to sit and act like this is your first time ever being insensitive to a culture, let me remind you, you posted this. Okay, so Aunt Karen clearly has a problem with cultural appropriation. We'll get into that in just a second. The tears weren't needed. An apology was all that we were asking for. Okay, so Aunt Karen also believes that if she disagrees with you, 
and she she takes your content as offensive, then you owe her an apology. And apparently the entire black community, because she speaks on behalf of the entire black community, according to her. And then if you if, if until you get that or until she gets her apology, she will harass you. She will threaten you. She will bully you. She'll do video after video about you. And again, send her followers after you to uh, to clog up your comment section with just incessant, like awful malicious comments i mean because i've been the target of that she's done a couple videos about me and her followers came to my videos and it's been incessant hundreds a day hundreds of comments a day from her followers talking about how awful i am and how i need to you know off myself and how i'm a terrible person how i'm a racist and how i'm part of the problem this is what happens, and I've and I block some of them, and I report some of them, and I report Aunt Karen's videos and her account, but nothing happens. There, there's no recourse for people who are targeted by her. Now, my content will get taken down, being completely innocuous, being completely non-offensive and not harmful at all. My content will get taken down because it gets reported by people like Aunt Karen, but someone who legit has an account for the sole purpose of harassing and bullying other people gets to remain on the platform. So again, Aunt Karen, okay, so going back to the cultural appropriation thing, Aunt Karen thinks it's evil and insensitive for people to take elements from other people's cultures and apparently enjoy them and, and use them to enrich their own lives. However, she doesn't have a problem impersonating a white woman in this video. Good evening. Is this available? So she's dressed up as a white woman. This is going back to Only JS uh, because, again, Only JS agreed at one point to do to do some videos with her, to collab with her, and then at some point changed her mind. And Aunt Karen still believes that she's entitled to piggyback of off of to piggyback off of her success on TikTok uh, to make herself more successful. And when Only JS changed her mind, then she decided to go ahead and mock her, dress up as a white woman, and then talk about her white fragility and make fun of her ADHD. Right, so she's making fun of someone who has a legit disability, and only JS has gone on TikTok to talk about her disability. But here is Aunt Karen Zero ridiculing her for that. Okay, now that's a clear violation of community guidelines. I've reported this video several times, and it still remains up. Uh, let's do one more. So, so this one here, I don't know if you guys remember this video that I did on my original TikTok. This was one of my first viral videos. Um, this video was made to sort of playfully poke fun at state troopers and highway patrolmen with their hats, right? And I used a sound clip from the movie Django Unchained during the Klansman scene when they're all trying on their masks for the first time and their masks aren't working, they can't see through their eye holes and it just, and, you know, and they're acting like a bunch of idiots. Now, people like Aunt Karen have used this video to try and make me look like a racist, as though I was uh, re reenacting some sort of clan scene, right? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and do what the clan does. Okay, clearly taking this video out of context to try and you know promote their narrative uh, regarding me specifically. We ready or what? Oh, uh, hold on, I'm. Up. So that was Officer Sylvester who recreated the clan scene in Django. I recreated the clan scene in Django. I'm a racist. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's just, when you say it out loud, it just sounds even more ridiculous. You know, I, I recreated that scene. Okay, so the people that did the original scene in the movie Django Unchained, the actors, the director, the producer, are they all racist? Because I didn't see anybody throwing a fit or being outraged about the movie Django Unchained. It was a great movie. That scene was essentially made to depict Klansmen as blithering idiots, okay? And they did a good job. It was a funny scene in that movie. And I was using the sound clip. It had nothing to... My video had nothing to do with the KKK 
with racism or anything. I actually didn't even realize it was a sound clip from the movie Django Unchained until later. I saw it on another um, TikTok video being used, and it was a it was a funny video, and I wanted to I wanted to do a video using that sound, and that was the video that I did. Not only that, he did a TikTok mocking LeBron James in a response video to killing black people with knives. Yes, I did a video mocking LeBron James because he's absolutely ignorant when it comes to police work, and especially with regards to police use of force in deadly threat encounters. Okay, and I got my point across, and that's the, that's the whole problem. There's nothing racist about that video. The problem is, is I made my point, and people like Aunt Karen can't stand that. They can't stand when conservatives make a valid point and pointing out a very serious flaw in what they would call logic, right, with their whole anti-police uh, sentiment that's being shoved down our throats on a daily basis. So my question is for GoFundMe. How are we allowing this man to raise half a million dollars? Okay, first of all, I didn't start the GoFundMe. I didn't create it. My, my friend in Utah, who was upset over the fact that I got suspended from my job and anticipated that I, was, that I was going to get fired, created the GoFundMe. Now, clearly, as you can see from this number, over, over half a million dollars, a lot of people agreed with what I had to say. And that's the, that's the main reason they donated. They didn't donate because, because I was suspended or I was going to get fired. They didn't donate um, so that you know, I could donate that money to charity. They donated it as a middle finger to the left because my video was on the mark. My LeBron James video hit the nail right on the head. And they applauded me for that in the form of donations to this GoFundMe. And that's why people like Aunt Karen are so incensed about it. Because how dare they? How dare they donate to this guy who disagrees with my woke ideology? Oh, so... Again, if you go through Aunt Karen's videos, you can see that she's, I mean, she hates white people. She does. Even though she doesn't say it out loud, uh, clearly, as you can see, white people are her target, okay? Um, she will try and destroy anybody that disagrees with her. She believes that she's entitled to piggyback off of the success of more successful TikTokers because she believes that if a white person is successful, then that means a black person is failing. If white people thrive, then black, per black people are being oppressed. She believes that. So that's, that's sort of the reason for the whole beef between her and only Jayus. Um, somebody like Aunt Karen should not be on TikTok. They should not be on social media spreading all of the hate, and especially when she has no qualms about lying about it. She, she blatantly lied in a video about me being racist because she disagreed with my message that I had in, in my LeBron James TikTok so I am going to leave the, um, the email to the community manager at TikTok so that if you feel like it's appropriate and you want to help out to go report Aunt Karen's page, I'll pull this back up. Here she is, Aunt Karen Zero. Again, she, if, if, there's, if there is one person who's guilty of harassment and bullying of other people on TikTok, it's Aunt Karen. It really is. And she doesn't deserve to be on here. Uh, she doesn't need to be on here. Uh, she causes um, she causes people a lot of undue stress um, because of her videos and the way she sends out her users to attack other people, and it's just not right. But TikTok is allowing it because that's what they do. They silence conservatives um, even when they're being um, harassed and bullied uh, by people on the left. So um, I'll put that in the description section. So go... Uh, Go report if you feel like you need to. Thanks, everybody. That's all for today. Also, if you guys haven't pre-ordered my book, Never Off Duty, I'm going to put a link in the description section where you can go do that. It'll be released in September. So if you want a good read and a good revealing look about what it's like to be a law enforcement officer in the United States in the year 2021, Pre-order your copy at D'Angelo Publications. Again, that link will be in the description section. Thank you all so much.